preach unto you that you should turn from these vanities unto the living God. Now, this is important because not only is Paul saying to these Gentiles, right, that they're made in the image of God, just like Paul and Barnabas were made in the image of God. He's highlighting again, just as I highlighted from verse 7, that he's preaching. They've come to preach to them. To do what? To turn from the silly idols, silly idol worship, and turn to the living God. Hebrew is natural makers. They'll say, no, 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 no. This is not speaking about true Gentiles, as we mentioned it, right? When I mention a Gentile, right? When I say Gentile, I'm speaking about a non-Israelite. They'll either say that this is speaking about a um, Greek-speaking Israelite, right? That's what it's referring to as a Gentile. Or you hear them say things like, this is somebody who is an Israelite, but doesn't know they're an Israelite, right? And the reason they'll have to go down these routes is because they don't believe anybody other than an Israelite can be saved. And this is, again, why a passage like this is so powerful. Turn from idol worship, turn to the living God. And notice what he says next. He says, who in times past suffered all nations in their own ways. This is the kind of verse which really takes down this false notion that, you know, what? oh, these are Israelites in a Gentile state of mind, or these are Greek-speaking Israelites. The time period Paul was including here would go beyond, right, would go past the time when the Israelites were scattered abroad to be in some sort of Gentile state of mind, not knowing they're Israelites. And Paul is highlighting that previously, the Lord allowed every different these different nations, right, non-Israelites, to walk in their own ways. It's because what Paul says next drives home the point that it was always God's idea, it was always God's plan to graft in Gentiles, true Gentiles, into the faith. Is in the Old Testament, when we see people who are truly Gentiles, not Israelites, not scattered Israelites, not Israelites in a Gentile state of mind coming to join the nation of Israel. So he's set up to say that, look, turn from vanity, turn to the true God. Before, in times past, the Lord allowed these different nations to walk in their own way. But notice what he says. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness, in that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. So notice what he's saying there. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rechaha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, fellow followers and believers of this faith. And Shalom to the elect, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Anyway, um, this video. And I've done videos, uh, I, I believe, on this guy in the past. But, you know, for whatever reason, he feels he can defend the gospel against the, he, you know, um, the Hebrew Israelites and our teaching. And there is other Israelite groups who teach falsely, who teach us all about black and white, which we, we've never taught that. <clears throat> okay, well, we don't teach that. So we're going to go into Acts 14. You know, for whatever reason, these guys have more energy and they're fervent on saving everybody and wanting everybody to come in when the scripture says seek your salvation now all this is happening to our people on high levels he don't want healing for our, for our people he want everybody to partake and and keep those people who oppressed us over us if this guy had it his way it'll be white jesus in heaven right Donald Trump would be under white Jesus <laughs> and various others would be sitting up over us in the kingdom of heaven. If this guy had it his way and them feeding us milk and honey, because after all those people in the land teach that, that we'll have to flow unto them. But if this guy won't do a video on them. Nope. He won't do that. Anyway, Let's go to Acts. I'll just try to make this quick. What he pulled up. Acts, the visit to Lystria and Derby. Um, let me go here first before I get started. And we're just going to go through the part, portion of this scripture. So let's go to Acts 14. Um, the visit to Lystria and Derby. Lystra and Derby. And this is where I'm going to just try to get to the point. 
where the man that was, uh, he was lame, he couldn't walk. And it says, Paul spoke and he steadfastly uh, stood up and he was healed. He had faith to be healed. So, um, and he told him to stand up and walk. And it goes on, I'm going to just jump to 11 verse. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they left, you know, the healing, they lift up their voices saying in the speech of like, like it, Conia, like Conia, I hope I'm spelling that right. This is why they said that. They lift up their voices saying in the speech of Lyconia, right? So you got to understand that part first. <clears throat> they said it in the speech. So again, we had Israelites that was scattered. Um, we married into other nations as well. Okay, we was doing heathen practices. You know, this is all well known. Um, let me go back here. Then the, uh, and it says, and when the people saw that Paul had done, they lift up their voices saying in a speech of Lyconia, the gods are coming down to us in the likeness of men. Right. Because you, you understand Roman thought. See, every time somebody hear Gentile or Roman, they automatically think of a white person. And this is where this guy it, or let me say Caucasian. This is where this guy is caught up on on this suprem this man's supremacy. That's crazy that that's all you can think about. That's how low of esteem that our people really have, man, or lack thereof of education and history. Right? Even when we went to uh, in, in um, Egypt and we uh, Egypt got conquered with the Greeks, he had Israelites amongst them. Right, so I don't know what this man thinks or how he thinks, but even in the world today, when you have all these wars, right, you have you have so-called black people or Israelites in in wars uh, in different militaries. Anyway, and they called Barnabas Jupiter <laughs> and called Paul Mercurius. I, I, I guess after Mercury. Because he was the chief speaker, then the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands unto the gates. Now notice it ain't say they brought all kinds of uh, um, pigs and stuff like that. Now our people was into adulterous practices, right? And would have done sacrifice with the people. You got to remember our people infused, and they've always done that, infused the word of, uh, you know, the belief of the most high into different practices. That's why our people go to church. They're in a Christian church because that's what they're doing. They claim they believe in the most high and some of them really sincerely believe they're doing the right thing in the Christian church, but they're actually following another God. And this is what happened. Um, it says the priests of Jupiter and uh, oxen of the gates and what have done sacrifice with the people which when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard um, of they, it says Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people crying out, saying, sirs, why do ye these things? <laughs> this is what we do when we go out on the hedges, right? Same thing. We also are men of like passions, with you and preach unto you. So they were coming in a humble spirit that ye should turn from these vanities. Well, who is these people? Now, let's say some of them are married into other nations or whatever. It's still predominantly talking about the Israelites because our custom was to marry our own, but our people was following Greek customs, right? Our people was following Greek customs. Anyway, so our people was considering to be other nations. If you took a census back then and you say, are you a Greek or are you an Israelite? They'll say they are Greek. You take a census today, somebody will say, are you an Israelite or are you a Negro? They'll say, well, I'm a Negro, although they're, they're, they're still Israelites. It says, um, 
we also are men of passions the priest to turn from vanities which um, it says um, and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living power which made heavens heaven and earth and sea and all the things that are therein who and this is the point who in times past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways and that's where they get confused so let's look up let's look up what this is actually talking about and before we go there let's look at some different translations on this um, particular verse this is in Acts yeah this is in Acts 14 and 16 right so we can get suffer all nations to walk their own path now it also says um, the living God who made heaven and earth seeing all things who time past suffered all nations right to walk now we should know what nations actually mean right you got nations that can actually mean a multitude of people a, a nature of people uh, it also goes to the word genus right of the same when you look up ethnos um, let's go here let's look up a different couple different translations then we're going to look up some commentary on this it says in time past he permitted all nations to go after their own ways it says in past generations he allowed other nations to walk of their own ways and all, to be honest he caused other nations to walk of their own ways he let nations go in their own ways why did he do that because to separate the Israelites from the other nations right that's the only way we would be separate from them Exodus 20 and 1 and 2 thou shalt not have any other gods before him and even with the Israelites we're going to get to that we were scattered amongst the nations so this guy thinks that I believe wherever city he went and different places they were probably all white people all Gentile Greeks and they could be but they would have had to, they would more likely be Israelites um, allow all nations he permitted all nations I think the KJV is the only one that said he suffered all nations to walk of their own but they don't understand what that means um, let's go to that real quick 16 and in time past he suffered all nations G1439 it says he allowed and permitted that's what it means like the most high was like ah, I just I don't like these other nations walking in heathenistic customs this is tearing me up you got to go through the words man and that's the problem people have it says to allow one to do as he wishes not to restrain to let alone to give up right to leave to let go so clearly we see what this is when it says he suffered them to walk in their own paths he allowed them he, he he allowed them he gave them up to do that because you were separate and what he's saying is don't follow and be a part of these other nations doing that even though you're scattered amongst them separate yourself from the other nations no matter what location you live in let's go to a little commentary it says here to walk in their own ways means to conduct themselves without the restraints and instruction of a written law. They were permitted to follow their own reason and, put, and passions and their own system of religion. The only reason why a lot of this is mentioned because the book was really only for the Israelites. The other people just played the part, you know. After their own system of religion, this is why in the Old Testament he says, Thou shalt not prostitute thy daughter, meaning don't give her up into adultery of the other gods the sexual acts came along but in the beginning that was mostly prostituting their daughter meant to the other gods and the rituals that they were practicing as if the day when uh, little children go to Hollywood you know how they go uh, anyway God gave them no written laws and sent to them no messengers so why didn't Moses bring the law to everybody 
They keep talking about the strangers can join with you and this or that. But I'm waiting to see when Moses brought the laws to anybody other than the children of Israel. So something is confusing here. You would think somewhere along the line that these heathens would, that was with the children of Israel wanted to partake with the children of Israel according to their doctrine. Then Moses would have said, it's all right for you too. Yeah, why did he do what he did to Egypt? You don't think the Most High could have made us all merge together and get along back then and be one people, one happy family? It's you guys that's trying to make that. You guys are trying to make every heathen nation and everybody else be one happy family with us. When right now being played out on the earth is GMO foods, you know, prison, poisons, right? Killings, murder, poverty, systemic racism, etc. Various other things, right? Trickery, deception. But nope, this guy just wants you to go back to be old, be an old Christian boy, right? Uh, it goes on to say, I'm looking at another one. Insufficiency of the reason to guide people to the matter of religion. Um, that's something else. It says, um, who in times past, by gone generations, suffered all nations, it says here, all the heathen, to walk in their own ways, God had chosen Israel only for his own before the coming of Christ, Yahweh Shah, and had given to the uh, rest of the world no revelation of himself except what they could read in the pages of the book of nature. Now, Malachi 3 and 6 says, The Lord changes not. And it says, Israel. It was Israel only until the coming of Yahawashah. Now, you would think that if Yahawashah came on this earth to save everybody, that the children of Israel would be in order, right? And they would have the covenant and have everything together in order to indoctrinate the other people. You mean to tell me in your own house, you're going to go try to save the little children down the street and your little children is in trouble? You won't go protect them first and try to save them first? You won't try to protect your house and your family first? You will go try to save everybody else's house except your own. Let's get another example. Um, let's go to Acts 3.25. Acts 3.25. It says, Ye are the children of the prophets. This is precepts to Genesis 12 and 3. It says, Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. So when we go back down here to the word, kindreds of thy earth shall be blessed. Let's go to G, G3965. Wait a minute. I thought this is for everybody. Let's see. A lineage running back to some progenitor ancestry, a group of families, right, which we can see in Amos 3 and 1. Uh, you, you're the only family I've known of all the families of the earth. A group of families, all those who had given people lay claim to a common origin. The Israelites was distributed into 12 tribes descended from the 12 sons of the patriarch of Jacob. They were divided into families which were divided into houses. So you can't say without it, without reasonable doubt, right? You can't say that this is talking about other nations because there's definitely reasonable doubt, as they say. That this is definitely talking about Israelites. In fact, there's no doubt that this is talking about Israelites, but this is why you'll see the word kindred because you can have your own family line such as mine is kindred or kin. You can have a nation, nation or, or a tribe that's, that's kindred, right? A group of families given laid to a common origin. 
So you can still see a separation in each one of these definitions. Then it says the Israelites who distributed into 12 tribes. We see this also in Revelation 7 and 9 and anywhere else you look up kindred. This guy would have no chance with real men of the Lord bringing out facts, bringing out 100% truth. He wouldn't have a chance. He clearly doesn't understand scripture. But what he will do, he will pick and find and pull any scripture he can out of universal universalism, universal practice for all mankind. They don't understand universalism and what happened in the scriptures. Anyway, that's all I want to